Well, I'm gonna make my second video on the F-250. Today, I'm gonna do a cold startup, which should not be a problem. And then I'm gonna take it to the, uh, the body shop to see uh, how I can get the best price to get it uh, repainted. And I'll, uh, I'll show you what needs to be painted if you stick around and uh, we'll do the rest of it. Thank you and have a great day. Just a quick uh, run around here. Um, I think I'm gonna have to uh, get a new bumper. Um, it's got a few dents right there. I'm gonna leave the uh, front front hitch on. Um, some headlight doors. This one's smashed. Um, probably get a new grill since this one's weather faded. Um, you can see that at one point in time he had the old bug deflector, and they're not very good to your truck. Um, so there's that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get as picky as uh, doing chrome, but there's a little ding there on the chrome. Make sure all the lights work up there on top. Um, coming around to this side, there is scratches all along here, of course. And then um, I think the fender is, this fender is good. This door has got a couple of little wrinkles in it. I'm going to get them to take these vent shades off. Um, I'll try and leave all the uh, stickers on his window since it says Billy Cook Tractor Equipment Repair. Um, back edge of the cab is fine. I don't see any rust. I see some green mold. Um, and then the bed, I'm not going to do the interior. I'll probably just get that uh, Rhino line, but uh, the, uh, the bed got a ding there. He uh, evidently backed into something here. Um, the bumper needs to be replaced. I'm going to have to go try and find uh, one of these puppies. Um, the bed, the tailgate's pretty jacked. Um, so I don't know if they're going to be able to fix that or not. So, just a second. Then there's a headache uh, rack and the bed uh, protection. I'm going to take that off and probably get it sandblasted and repaint it. Um, I think my brother-in-law wants that toolbox, so we're going to take that off of there. Uh, on this side, um, the fender is dinged. I got another fender, as you can I got fenders out the yin yang, but uh, you know that one either gets replaced or it'll probably be easier and cheaper to replace it. Looks like the cowl is bent, so I'll probably need to get one of those. Um, the door on this side seems to be fairly decent and the bed again decent until you get to the back here and I don't know what he hit but hopefully they can pop that side out and then of course he backed into something else so we'll uh we'll take it and uh see what they can do for me because I want to get it redone um to look like new or as new as possible um because I plan to never get rid of it um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Take it up there. As I showed you previously when I cleaned it out, the, uh, the interior needs some work too. So, um, you know, it's, what is this? 21 years old. It's a 97. So, uh, you know, it's to be expected, but overall we took really good care of it until, you know, towards the end. So here we go. Alrighty, let's see if we can. Alright, there we go. Neutral. And the wait to start light is out. Not bad. It's been three months since he passed away, so we're doing good. It's got 294,000 miles on it. I'll try and get a million. <laughs> so the ground and uh, let you know how this all shakes out. I had a lot more planned to do today but with the weather raining and I've actually been sick this week so I'm gonna just take it relatively easy which is why I'm taking the hot rod here to the body shop and uh, you know it sounds pretty good and all the gauges are good um, I think the front end needs to be rebuilt 
pretty badly. So that'll be a mechanical thing that I'll probably actually do myself. But uh, when you turn the corner, it rubs pretty good. So that's why I decided to film that while I'm coming out the driveway so you can hear how how it rubs and what we're gonna need to do with the uh, front end. So that uh, wasn't too bad. So there you go. and the goats over there. They're the best buddies. All right, talk to you later. Well, that was somewhat of a waste of time, but it was helpful in another way. Uh, the body shop wouldn't give me a quote because uh, I guess they're too busy and they can make a lot more money, I think, on insurance jobs rather than just um, something like this. So I'm going to have to find somebody else to do it. But the positive point of that is is that this is the first time I've really driven the truck um, for more than like just around the yard and what I've determined is that uh, I need to take care of the mechanical stuff before I even begin to the to do any of the cosmetic uh, stuff because it is uh, the brakes are touchy uh, it pulls to the left the steering is shoddy at best um, the uh, second gear doesn't work too good. Uh, it grinds every time I put it in second, pretty much. It pops out a third. Um, you know, so there's a whole list of things. The air conditioning works, so. But anyway, so uh, what I'm taking away from my... I, I drove it about 15 miles altogether. Um, and I really, before I do any cosmetic, I'm going to work on getting the uh, mechanical issues worked out so that it's safer to drive and then we'll work on making it pretty um, so I don't know how we had it going this way for God only knows how long but uh, we're gonna work on the mechanical stuff first and then we'll then we'll make it pretty so thanks for watching um, I appreciate it uh, I know this isn't as exciting as I would have liked it to have been but I will be sharing all costs associated with uh, fixing the truck up. And just let me shift because I'm trying to drive in fourth gear um, down the driveway. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, uh, please uh, like, share, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll keep on keeping on. So thank you and have a great day, bye.